What is the point of sending prophets? What is the main message of all prophets? What is the difference between a messenger and a prophet? Did Allah send female prophets? These questions will be answered in this video, inshallah. All praise be to Allah and peace be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Why did Allah send prophets? It has been shown that people who don't have guidance have a high rate of racism, depression, suicide, alcohol abuse, adultery, cheating, sexual diseases, betrayal, crimes, and miserable lives. Therefore, humans need someone who can guide them and teach them the meaning of life. Hence, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent messengers and gave them books to guide us to the right path and happiness. Humans cannot achieve this without Allah's guidance. Therefore, Allah is most merciful revealed His commands through His prophets and messengers so that people would be brought out of darkness into light. What, what is, is the, the main, main message, message of, of all prophets? prophets? Their message is to call people to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone without a partner and to follow good manners. Before and after any prophet, you can see significant differences. Before you would find disbelief, transgression, crimes, poor behavior, alcohol, adultery, gambling, slavery, and women being abused. But after their message, you will see belief, just good manners, marriage, freedom from slavery, and honoring women. Here is a simple example before and after Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Arab used to bury girls alive and mistreat women like slaves. Islam brought honor to girls and dignity and respect to women. And there are countless examples of this. What, what is, is the, the difference, difference between, between Nabi and, and Rasul? And Nabi didn't receive a divine book or a law, while a Rasul received a book and a law. So every Rasul is a Nabi, but not every Nabi is a Rasul. Al Quran clearly and firmly demands that believers believe in all prophets and messengers and the books revealed to them without distinction. They were all human beings chosen by Allah and were given the same message, which is calling people to worship none but Allah, not to associate partners with Allah in worship, completely submit to Allah's will, offer salah, pay zakah, lead a moral life according to the divine guidance, prepare for the day of resurrection, when everyone will stand before Allah to be judged for the deeds done in this life. Do, Do we, we have, have to, to believe, believe in all, all prophets? prophets? There were many prophets and messengers sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but only 25 are mentioned by name in the Quran. We must respect and believe in all of Allah's prophets. Were, were all, all prophets, prophets humans? humans? Is, Is there, there one of them an angel, angel or God? God? All prophets were human beings chosen by Allah to receive His message and deliver it to human beings. They were not only the bearer of the divine message, but they also showed how the message was to be interpreted in practical life. They were the models or examples to be followed. That is why Al-Quran gives special stress on the fact that prophets and messengers were men. None of them were angels, God or son of God. Why, why didn't, didn't Allah, Allah send, send a female, female prophet? prophet? Allah is the most wise. For the Prophet to call people to Allah, he has to meet them in secret and in public, travel everywhere, confront the liars and debate them. Also sometimes they have to prepare armies and fight in battles. This job needs a man with his full strength and power. However, women may become pregnant and give birth, followed by fatigue and psychological stress. In addition, the baby needs to be cared for. It's therefore difficult for the women to carry the burden of this responsibility. So all prophets were humans and all prophets were men. And let me ask you a question before we leave. Is our beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam a prophet or a messenger? And why? If you know the answer, please leave a comment below. May Allah guide us towards the best manners. May Allah forgive me, my parents and the believers when the day of judgment will be established.
والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته